Fellow citizens, greetings and thank you for taking time uh, to uh, watch this uh, video. I hope it's useful to you. The big news this, uh, this week has been that the governor has presented a plan to reopen the state. And as mentioned in the plan, our region, North Central, will begin this process on May 8th. The reopening will happen in three phases and the Department of Health will utilize a data model developed by Carnegie Mellon University and will indicate when to move to the next phase. This plan is very comprehensive and I recommend you read it in full at www.governor.pa.gov backslash. Details of the plan are not available to us at this point, so it's difficult to know just exactly the timing of the opening and also which uh, businesses will be able to open, which activities will be able to go on uh, in the initial stages. Today I issued a proclamation, Bells Across Pennsylvania Day. Despite all the efforts of state, county, and municipal governments to mitigate the effects of this pandemic to date, over 33,232 Pennsylvanians have been afflicted with COVID-19, and some 1,204 Pennsylvanians have died from it. In every municipality, there have been emergency medical personnel, firefighters, police officers, and employees of grocery stores, pharmacies, and other life-sustaining businesses who have braved the viral elements at the expense of themselves and their families to maintain essential services to the public, uh, <coughs> which is generally sheltering in place, and these men and women are deserving of recognition as hometown heroes. Elected officials across the Commonwealth have joined together to promote a statewide expression of gratitude to these hometown heroes. Solidarity with other Pennsylvanians on the front lines of the COVID-19 battlefield and determination <clears throat> to their municipal businesses and civic life will thrive once again. <clears throat> now, therefore, I have proclaimed that May 3rd, 2020, is Bells Across Pennsylvania Day in the borough of State College. And I call upon all residents and churches to ring bells, churches, uh, synagogues, uh, mosques, uh, all religious institutions, and individual citizens, where possible, to ring bells at 7 p.m. on, <coughs> excuse me, on May 3rd for three minutes to honor their hometown heroes, to rally with other Pennsylvanians on the front line of COVID-19, and show resolve to restore their local businesses and civic life to their former prominence when restrictions are lifted. This is a little bit like uh, in line with what New Yorkers have been doing every evening uh, since the uh, beginning of the, uh, of the pandemic uh, to honor their, uh, fr their first line workers, their uh, mailmen, their delivery people, their health workers, etc. Uh, and so I want to ask you as Pennsylvanians to do this too. And State College citizens and all the citizens of the center region if possible. I ask all citizens to notify your religious leaders so that they can take part in this homage to our hometown heroes. Thank you. The Center County Refuse and Recycling Authority will resume curbside recycling on Monday. And as curbside recycling starts back up again, please follow the guidelines below to keep collectors and residents safe. If someone in your household has been sick, is quarantined or has <clears throat> tested positive for COVID-19, please hold your recycling at home for one week before placing it at the curb. Protect yourself, your neighbors, and our community. Do not place possibly contaminated items at the curb. On trash guidelines, all trash should be bagged prior to being placed inside or next to your trash can. Bags should be tied or closed to prevent trash from spilling out. And for State College Borough residents only, bulk items should be placed at the curb for at least three days before they are collected. The State College Borough Council approved an extension for the face period of the 2020 State College Borough real estate tax. <clears throat> this approval extends the face period for the 2020 real estate tax from 
2020 to 9-30-2020, or September 30th, 2020. The 10% penalty will be applied on the 2020 State College Borough real estate payments received and or postmarked after 9-30-2020. Council also canceled approved special events through June 30th and some other notable events including Summer on Allen, Bullsburg Memorial Day, Fourth Fest, Arts Fest, People's Choice, and Heritage, Fe Heritage Festival have also self-canceled their events. The Office of Community Engagement and the Planning Office <clears throat> have been working closely with Out of the Cold, Housing Transitions, Center Helps, Center County United Way, and the COVID Community Needs Response Group to see what services are available to those in need. If you and your family is in need, please call or text Center Helps at 800-494-2500. That's 800-494-2500. Staff has also sent residents a postcard with this information that you should be receiving soon. I want to remind you again that Park Mobile, our mobile parking app, has partnered with Out of the Cold Center County to help raise funds to house homeless people. And a push notification was sent to users with directions, but if you are a Park Mobile user, all you need to do is enter zone 42100 to make your donation. Also, the borough has partnered with the local radio station, B94.5, to provide updates over the radio. <clears throat> this will be especially useful to people who have limited or no internet access. Center Safe has asked us to let the public know that Center Safe is still here for you and is still providing services for anyone experiencing domestic or dating violence, sexual violence, and stalking. This includes men, women, and children, as well as concerned neighbors, service providers, and supportive friends. The best way to access these services are <clears throat> is to call the free and confidential hotline at one 877-234-5059. I want to continue to emphasize that community members should take everyday precautions like staying home except for life-sustaining activities, washing your hands, avoiding touching your face, and wear masks at all times when social distancing is not possible and all times when entering any essential business such as grocery stores or pharmacies. Remember, you play the most important role in limiting the spread of COVID-19, and the citizens of this of State College and this region have done a remarkable job so far. Finally, the COVID-19 pandemic has greatly impacted our local census operations and our ability to get the complete count. The census has suspended all door-to-door -door <clears throat> enumeration activities. I want to remind everyone that you still need to complete the census and you can do so via mail, phone, or online. This impacts the appropriation of billions of dollars for of federal funding. <clears throat> it impacts redistricting and more. By taking the census now, you help us out for the next de decade. And if you have any questions about the census, please contact us at engage at statecollegepa.us. And also, always checking our website, the best information available daily uh, at www.statecollegepa.us backslash coronavirus. Thank you again for taking the time to, uh, to watch this video and stay safe.